No, the baby. No, the Shrek, entonces. Shrek. Hi, guys. Welcome back to today's vlog. So, today I'm just going to um, kind of like reorganize my um, little bins that I have in my pantry because I do have some pretty messy. Um, so, yeah, um, it is currently, let me go ahead and check. It is 617. It is pretty late. I did not tend to make a video today because I didn't have anything to actually vlog for you guys. Alright, so I'm just going to reorganize the the, um, the bins and then show you guys um, how it turned out. This is not a regular like pantry organization i'm just going to show you guys quickly how i reorganize stuff um, in my opinion no, mama, hmm. I see. okay hold on and so in my opinion are two different things even though it's in the kitchen area mama, but it is separately isaac no mama, I see. Déjalo aquí. Mama, okay. Ahorita. they are two different things so hopefully you guys mama, stick around no. to watch um, how i reorganize the bins and show you how things turned out um and yeah so I fixed um, I reorganized these so they are a little bit empty except for the candy one and this one but this one is empty um, tomorrow since I am going grocery shopping I am gonna buy more of the Nutri bars and some Belvitas because I like eating those with my shake in the morning you guys remember on my previous um, organizing my pantry you guys will know that um this looks different than before um all this stuff right here i used to have it right there all of these can um 
uh, containers um, were up here and um, it just everything was like like moved around so this is how my pantry looks now it is a little bit um, organized I think in my in my eyes and um, yep this is how it looks like except for the um, cans but I'm just gonna leave it like that I do have them categorized so that's how I have it and then this um, I got this um, what is it called like little divider thing and I bought these at the dollar store and also these ones and I just have my um, pastas I just it looks more put together and that's how it looks like um the reason why I added this before was because I used to have um like the chips I would have um a lot of bags of chips right here because before I did this part right here um when I added the um divider here or the shelf the bags of chips were right here and I would buy a lot but there was still this part of this area right here that was empty so I was like um, I need to like use the space that is not um, being used if that makes sense so that's how I, that's what I did because these were up here where that one is but it was right here and then these were up here and it's just it wasn't working for us and so because if you guys can't tell this right here has more space than what we normally use up here and so I had to somehow find a way or a system that it would work for us. And so because my husband is um, on that challenge, I'm not currently buying him some chips. So um, these were down here. If you guys remember from my previous um, organizations, all of the pasta was over here. And this was not here, but the chips were right here. And so it didn't make any, it just felt, the flow was going smoothly with that system, how I had it. But because like I said, I mentioned we don't have any more chips. Um, I put these in the bottom to make more space up here. And then um, that way I can bring those clear containers down here because they were up here. And it just works for us more right there. And so... Hopefully this video is making sense. Um, I just like how it looks now because um, I just feel like once you put stuff like in points of use, like the clear bins and using your, utilizing the storage that you have, like I can have another one of these right over here so that way I can use this empty space. But for right now, that's what we have. It even looks a little bit empty if, um, as you guys can see. So right now it is working for us. We'll see once I go grocery shopping. And um, I don't know if you guys were seeing how I was organizing these. Normally I would organize them by like the height and by like the brands and all that kind of stuff. But what I did is I organized them by expiration date. So um, these are the ones that expire earlier and then these are the ones that expire later and next year so they all expire next year but like i said this one probably expires like in april and then like may july september october and all that kind of stuff so that's how i organize them and i think it's just better just to put them leave them in the um box because if i do buy like something similar to this i won't have the right space for them it just Having cereal on this looks will be more bulky. It just will take more space. I don't have the space for it, but if I did, I would definitely use those. But I think how it is right now is how it's helping us. So yeah, you guys, this is how my pantry looks like. Um, and yeah, like I said, this is not a... Um, like I did mention earlier in the um, at the beginning of the video... Mm -hmm. Ay, ay, ay. todos, dámelos. Dámelos todos. ¿Ya? Ahí está otro, dame el otro. 
No, no quiero el zebra. Well, he managed to take seven of the ornaments out. These are all the ornaments that he took out. They're right here. And he put them in the cart. Estos no son para jugar. No son para jugar. No. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, this was not intended for me to make um, a pantry organization. It was just, um, you know, removing the expired stuff and like kind of like fixing my pantry so that way it looks cleaner and ready for tomorrow for the stuff that I'm going to be purchasing tomorrow. So yep, yeah, that was it. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to also subscribe to my channel. Now we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.